One of the problems that motorcycle engines have now in the four-stroke era is that the gearbox is lubricated with engine oil. And engine oil is not uh, very good as a gear oil. So for many years, uh, engines that lubricate their transmission with engine oil use very large gears. And that's what we see here. But this is an unusual departure from the normal gearbox arrangement in a motorcycle. Normally, for a six-speed transmission, and you can count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, there will be three selector forks, and two of them will operate on one shaft, and one of them operates on the other shaft. And they engage the gears with, with dogs by sliding one gear over to lock a free spinning gear onto the shaft. In this transmission, this transmission is called a dog ring transmission because the gears themselves do not slide laterally as all other types of usual types of motorcycle transmissions do. In the counter shaft at the front, which we can't see, all of the gears are simply splined to the shaft and rotate with it. Each of these six gears on the output shaft, you see the sprocket here, spins on a needle bearing. And between each pair of gears is a dog ring, which is moved by the shift drum. And to engage one gear, the dog rings, which are splined to the shaft, is simply slid over and locks to the gear that is selected. This has the advantage that the gears themselves can be quite narrow because they're always located perfectly with respect to one another because they don't slide laterally at all. And Kawasaki tell us that this type of transmission is used in their um, short-lived MotoGP project engine.